Pepper. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Cheryl. Um, it's so great to see both of you. And um, for starters, thank both of you for all that you've done for women's basketball. Um, as a 10-year-old girl, it means so much that everything that you've done has paved the way for girls like me to now be able to see a WNBA. Um, and I have two questions for you today. So first, what does it mean to you to see how much women's basketball has grown since 1996? Um, first of all, Pepper, I think you're pretty cool. I think you're the coolest interviewer I've ever had. Um, but I don't know, it's such an incredible moment for me personally to be here and, you know, 25 years later of the WNBA and, um, celebrating being here with my former teammates on the 96 team. I, I think for, for us, when we set out, um, on this, I call it a journey. Um, I think we just always wanted to leave a path and and and, ha and make a way for so many young girls such as yourself to come up behind us and after us and, and to know that you have so many more opportunities than we even had when the league first started. But um, to know that if you, you know, you keep working hard and you keep playing and you keep believing and you keep striving that the sky is honestly the sky is the limit for you to be able to accomplish anything that you want to and it's so great to still be sitting here 25 years later and, and talking about the success of the WNBA. I love that so much and then um, a second question just what was the most fun aspect of winning gold in 1996? Yeah <laughs> I think I think something that was unique to that 96 team is that um we trained for a full year before we went to that Olympics and, uh, and it was a lot of it was a real grind, you know, get up in the morning, do conditioning, then go to practice, then lift weights and then have another basketball session in the afternoon and, and somewhere in there also um, doing media and, and, and community events. It was a, it was a real commitment and there was a lot of it that was really hard. And um, so when we got to the Olympics and they were in the U S in Atlanta, there was, there was this, beauty of winning the gold medal together in front of um, fans from our country. Mm -hmm. But there was also this, um, this acknowledgement amongst us of what we had been through, because there was a lot of it that was wonderful. And there was a lot of it that's really hard. And some of the best rewards come when you've experienced a lot of really hard things together. And, and we did that that year. And, um, and it just made all of it in a lot of ways, sure. um, a lot more special. Sure. I just wanted to touch on what you just said, and I feel like I'm one of those girls that you, um, you've impacted, and it means so much to be able to talk with you both today. So two questions for you. First, what does it mean to you to see how much women's basketball has grown and evolved since 1996? Well, it's obviously it's grown tremendously, and um, it's we just got a chance to go in and, and talk to the the current Olympic team and um, just to see even like Sue Bird and Diana Taurasi and the way that they've carried on this, this legacy and they have improved with the times as well. And, you know, the game is, is definitely more um, I would say more athletic. I don't know that it's, you know, maybe more skilled. Cause I think like Ruthie said, our, our group was really reaching for perfection and, and Tara made sure we got there. Um, but the game, you know, the game has changed and evolved and it's, it's exciting to see where it is now. And I think it's exciting to really look at where it can go. Because I think now with, um, you know, just owners like Mark Davis here in, in Las Vegas, I mean, the owners that really, really care, it makes a big difference. And I think there's enough of them now that you have the right people getting involved, a great commissioner. And I think this guy's the limit. And, and we're really, you know, we're in a, we're living in a time where there's a real movement for women, people of color. And I think it's a, a prime opportunity to get behind the WNBA. Definitely. All right, oh, and then my last question for you both. Um, what was the most fun aspect of winning gold in 1996? What was the what? Most fun. When was it? What, what was the most fun? Oh, about? you know, it. I, I get that question a lot. What the most fun? It was so many memories. Like, it, it was uh, so many memories that was, was fun for me. Like, even the travel, the, the, the hectic part of traveling, I embraced. I just indulged in every part of it. Uh, but I would say if I had to just pick out one thing it was really um after we uh won the olympic the gold medal in 96 i had a chance and and my mom had passed on at the time i had a chance to take my medal off and take it and, and share it with my sister and my dad had a picture of my mom you know there so she's always wanted me to make the olympic team she always was like well, is this the olympic team every team i played on so she wasn't here 
you know, to share but remember she was. So that that to me stands out as something that really I'm thankful that I got a chance to share with my father and I got a chance to uh, actually dedicate my medal 96 to my sister. Thank you so much for everything. Everyone, um, I wanted to start by just thanking you all for everything you've done um, to improve the game of women's basketball and to further it along. As a 10-year-old girl who plays basketball and as a journalist, it means so much from everything that you've done. Um, two questions for you right now. Um, firstly, just what does it mean to see how much women's basketball has grown um, since 1996? All right, let's start with Katie, if you would, please. Well, I think, you know, uh, I think one of the great things about um, the evolution of the game is it's a lot faster um, than even when we played. Um, but as people who came along at a, at a very pivotal time in women's basketball, we, we love being able to look back and see the legacy that we helped build um, is still active today and the, the blessings that they have um, in women's basketball now because of the, the contributions that we made. But it also makes me think very, um, very positively about the, the folks that came before us um, and laid the groundwork for us to, to be able to do what we were doing. Um, so, and it just, you know, we were talking uh, in the locker room with them just before and Lisa said, you know, it's your guys turn to carry the torch. And that's, uh, I think it's really important that we keep moving the needle and that we keep pushing uh, the boundaries. And I think this is a really current topic this year uh, with some of the disparities in women's basketball that we've, that we've witnessed and been a part of and, and glad to see that they're uh, getting the recognition that they deserve. Uh, 